Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday. It is uh, May 28th. Um, this is the Saturday of the sixth week of Easter. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend. The sun is shining. What a beautiful day. Friends, let's begin our morning prayer uh, with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is risen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Christ is the world's light, he and none other, born in our darkness, he became our brother. If we have seen him, we have seen the Father, glory to God on high. Christ is the world's peace, he and none other. No man can serve him and despise his brother. Who else unites us, one in God the Father? Glory to God on high. You have filled me with gladness, Lord. I will sing for joy at the works of your hands. Alleluia. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. <coughs> Excuse me. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just, in him my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. You have filled me with gladness, Lord. I will sing for joy at the works of your hands. Alleluia. It is I who bring death, 
and I who give life, I inflict injury, and I bring healing. Alleluia. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain, and my discourse permeate like the dew. Like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown. O proclaim the greatness of our God, the rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways. A faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. <clears throat> Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you? O oh, stupid and foolish people, is he not your father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old. Reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father and he will inform you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of God. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a, in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It is I who bring death, and I who give life. I inflict injury, and I bring healing. Alleluia. <clears throat> you have crowned your anointed one with glory and honor. Alleluia. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name. You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. You have crowned your anointed one with glory and honor. Alleluia. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. None of us lives as his own master, and none of us dies as his own master. While we live, we are responsible to the Lord. And when we die, we die as his servants. Both in life and death, we are the Lord's. That is why Christ died and came to life again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. I promise that the Father will give you anything you ask for in my name. Alleluia. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> I promise that the Father will give you anything you ask for in my name. Alleluia. Christ has made known to us the life that lasts forever. With faith and joy, let us cry out to him, saying, Lord, may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. Eternal Shepherd, look on your flock as it rises from sleep. Feed us with the word of life and the bread from heaven. Lord, may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. Keep us safe from the wolf and hireling, and make us faithful in listening to your word. Lord, may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. You are present to all who preach your gospel and give power to their words. Make us today preachers of your resurrection by our holiness of life. Lord, may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. Be our great joy, so that be our great joy that no one can take from us, so that we may reject sin with its sadness and reach out to eternal life. Lord, may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. And for what else shall we pray for this morning? As we call to mind our own intentions, as we call to mind the prayers of our own hearts, remembering all of those people who have asked for our prayers, those people that we've promised to pray for. We pray those sacred words that Jesus himself gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, teach us to know you better by doing good to others. Help us to grow in your love and come to understand the eternal mystery of Christ's death and resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, <coughs> excuse me, and friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us to pray this, the prayer of the church, praying with and through the church, but praying on behalf of the church, praying for the church and all her members. Um, you've heard me say it before, yes, it is a gift and a treasure, but a responsibility as well that you and I, praying with one another, but praying for one another, this little group of prayer warriors and warrioresses that we have. And so, friends, pray for one another throughout this day, knowing that whatever you face, you do not face alone. Um, and so being with people, as they go through this day in the Lord and through the Lord. Whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, friends, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, remember to be happy today. 
But above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.